Good evening and welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. Let's take a look at our headlines. Oil prices hit lowest since Ukraine invasion amid recession fears. Court refuses to make Hirunika a suspect. Two dead, one injured in shooting in Ahangama. Schools will function three days from next week until further notice. Stolen number plates of motorbikes used in recent murders. Sri Lanka ends T20 campaign with heavy loss. Now, diving into our lead stories. Global oil prices dropped on Thursday to their lowest level since before Russia's February invasion of Ukraine, as traders fretted over the possibility of an economic recession later this year that could torpedo energy demand. Benchmark Brent crude futures settled down $2.66 or 2.75% at $94.12, though lowest close since February 18th. West Texas Intermediate crude futures settled down $2.34 or 2.12% at $88.54, the lowest close since February 2nd. The Colombo Fourth Magistrate refused to make Hirunika Premachandra and 10 other suspects for protesting outside the President's house on July 6. The 10, including Hirunika, were noticed to appear before the court today by the Fourth Police Station. Premachandra and others were the first to protest outside the President's house calling for the resignation of Gotabia Rajapaksa. Two men had died and another was injured in two separate shooting incidents in Ahangama and Lunugam Vihara last night, police said. The Ahangama police launched investigations on information that one man had died and another one was injured in a shooting that took place inside a restaurant in Ahangama. Police said a 40-year-old resident of Midigama was shot to death while another 19-year-old youth with gunshot wounds and was admitted to the Karapitiya hospital. The cause of the shooting had not yet been revealed. The Education Ministry has decided to continue functioning government and government-approved private schools for three days a week from next week until further notice. The decision was taken to continue school studies without interruption. Accordingly, schools will function on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Also, a decision was taken to continue with online teaching practices on Friday when schools are not functioning. Police warn people not to park their motorbikes insecurely as there is a tendency of stealing number plates by organized criminals. They said it was observed that stolen number motorbike number plates are being used in vehicles that were used for several murders that have taken place recently. Police advise people to be mindful when they park vehicles and motorbikes by the roadside and other places, especially at night. The Sri Lankan women's cricket team finished at the bottom of the points table after they crashed to a third straight defeat at the hands of South African women in their Commonwealth Games 2020 cricket tournament Group B fixture played in Birmingham, England yesterday. For further details on these stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup.